Hello all. Uh, this video is going to be on the uh, new release of uh, Arch Linux Midfinger Edition version 11. Uh, this one goes to 11. <laughs> um, I made some changes to the uh, installer and I'll go through that. And I also added some other stuff as you can see. Uh, document All the documents are in a folder now. So you have the, basically the same stuff as I had before. Uh, so let's go through the installation just to, uh, it's pretty much the same. So we do is the, just go to your super, just super user and CF disk and choose your partition uh, table. I use uh, DOS because I have a legacy BIOS. And whatever you want to choose, you can add other, um, a home folder or whatever uh, you, you wish. So we'll make that bootable, right? And quit, and then we'll make the uh, file system. And then we'll mount it. And list that out to make sure it's there. And then we just run the Arch Linux Midfinger Edition AME installer and press enter. All right, once that's finished, um, what I did is I changed it up so that it ch roots you into the uh, new mounted environment. That would include anything you had, like I said, a, your swap or your home folder or a different root, separate root partition, and also generates the file system table, um, and which is dictated by what you chose when you uh, set up your partitions. So all we have to do is uh, just type your MK in it. You can press tab on most of this, uh, dash P, and then Linux, press tab there, and uh, that'll generate the Linux image for you. Once that's done, um, just grub dash install, sorry, install dev. I just press tab there, sda, if it's device sda, just press enter. And I just changed the, instead of having to type grub, uh, MK config. I just made a little script in USR bin up dash rub and press enter and that'll uh, generate your uh, grub configuration file. When you type exit it will uh, automatically unmount the mounted partition or partitions that you had and that is it and you just type uh, reboot and you can uh, start using the installed system. Okay, so once uh, everything is up and uh, running, you can unmount the Arch Linux uh, ISO disk or whatever you're using. And uh, let's go to the documentation and post install. Um, try to explain what this is. If you type in sudo update db, uh, that just updates the locate, which I included. Uh, it's called mlocate, so when you want to search for something, in the terminal, um, it will find it. So once you have to do this once in a while, sudo update db. So just open a terminal and just uh, type that in, sudo update db. So if you start, if you install new programs and stuff, you want it, you might want to type that in again. Okay. Next is uh, configuring your mirrors. You can make a backup if you wish, uh, but I included the script called uh, mirrors.sh. And that is in USR bin as well. So you can do something like a sudo leafpad slash USR bin mirrors sh. You see here, I'll just uh, wrap, is you can, the only thing you have to change pretty much here is just the country. Um, so if it's United States, put it in quotes. I can do it with this as well. I can save and close. And then after that's done, just run mirrors sh and it'll go out and find the quickest one. And then to update, just type in sync. So you don't have to do sudo pacman syy. You just type in sync. And that should sync the mirrors for you for your country or your locale or wherever. And you can do a pack U, 
which is uh, pseudo Pac-Man dust S Y U. So alias for that. And there's updates, so you can install those if you have updates. And the locale purge to get that to work, you have to edit again this file Etsy locale dot no purge. So we'll just copy that and paste that into a terminal. All you have to do is uh, comment out uh, needs config first, like that, and go down to the very bottom. So you can press page down. And whatever you don't need, say, they give you examples here. So uh, I don't live in uh, Great Britain, or right, um, but I do use US uh, locale. All right, so you just delete whatever you don't want or add what you might want. All right, so EN something else or another locale um, as well. So uh, save that and close. And uh, again, uh, I made an alias um, LCP for locale purge. And you'll see this user bin locale purge config. Um, you have to run that. So I made another alias LCC and then run LCP again. And I'll clean up any remnants. And the same thing as with mlocate, you might want to run this after installing uh, new software. And now with the post install too, I made another script. It's all should be fairly straightforward as uh, post install cleanup and it's just called post clean again it's an alias in usr bin and it'll be uh, it'll what it does it uh, leftover files from the installation uh, from the arch iso and updates the icon and font caches so you just type that in you can uh, even use tab completion post dash clean in VirtualBox, I'm just going to use this in VirtualBox. You can run this command, but it's very dangerous if you're not sure. But I, you can run this safely in VirtualBox. This command, what it does, it looks for uh, your XF86 videos. And since they're not included in VirtualBox as Pac-Man, uh, it won't pick that up. Now, if you uh, have this on a live, like on your system installed, you'll just have to install whatever video like uh, XA86, ATI or NVIDIA or Intel. Again, you just have to install that, but it will free up some space. And it's also handy, comes in handy if you want to upgrade to uh, or change your video to the proprietary ATI or NVIDIA. So you just take this line. Again, you just copy and paste that in. You can type in df h it's uh, now down to 1.6 gigabytes. I should have uh, did one before. It was 1.9, I believe, on this installation. If you notice, too, down at the bottom, uh, the time is wrong compared to the real time. And that's because it, I had set this to UTC. So you have to uh, first remove the uh, local time. So RM slash Etsy local not locale, just local time. All right. And then just like you would if you're installing Arch Linux, ln dash s slash usr share zone info and your country, area, continent, and then say New York. You can press tab and out to that same file you just deleted local time press enter and now if you go down to the bottom you notice the time is pretty much the same as the local time or the uh, system time on your main system if that makes any sense and if it doesn't work just reboot and do those steps again remove the Etsy time zone and etc now let's move on to the all-important changing the user uh, name so you have your username and everything with all this uh, custom uh, interface intact. And I found out uh, why this might be failing. When you uh, restart, you have to make sure that save session is not checked. So this is checked. This is not checked. So I'm just going to cancel here. And also, if you press uh, Control Space, you can use a snap. This is going to call Synapse, sorry, session and startup. 
and go to session and right here clear save session proceed and close so now that that's cleared and when you restart not to save session you can do a restart and I'll we'll log into the test account that I made and we can change the user uh, name that way plus update your password so when you get the login screen there's test the password to, for that is test login and you'll just get this uh, just use default configuration this is only a temporary and I included the how to change user on the desktop don't worry if it's locked it'll still uh, you can still read it and this video uh, is out of date a little but it's basically the same idea we don't have to do a sudo anymore we just like sudo user mode you can go straight to su so su and as I explained before in the earlier video user mode dash md home your new name you want and the old name do not put a slash after this do not put a slash here okay whatever you do it won't work so user mod dash md space slash home slash new name space old name okay same idea user mode space dash l slash new name I mean not a slash I'm sorry no slash <laughs> uh, new name old name password for your new name type in what you want type exit and exit one more time you can close this and just log out and don't worry about uh, saving session because this is uh, going to be you can delete this so we'll restart now when we get to the, the uh, login screen just go to the new user you created with your new password and log in voila okay there's your home folder with uh, the new username you would choose and if you go up you see the test user here so open a terminal su and uh, rm dash r home test doesn't matter if you have a slash the, at the end and then user user d e l space and the old test account and it's gone as uh, before okay I've slimmed this down quite a bit I've left out conky I've left out compiz uh, chromium and a few other things uh, but the important thing is it, it fits on a CD-ROM now when you download the ISO and my thinking is well you can download the packages you want so I left just enough so you have uh, internet uh, you have a network manager so you can connect to the internet uh, you have a browser and basic image viewer and a text editor, leaf pad, and of course your terminal and stuff. It's so it's enough to get you started with a fairly uh, light system. I'm not saying this will work on old machines. Okay, I have no idea. I doubt it. <laughs> but I think you you realize that is uh, I don't want to like I my upload speed is very slow. Um, maybe one day I'll I can upgrade my uh, connection so it's much faster, so it won't take as long. But I think some of you out there might appreciate that it's not as large as um, other distros where they get into the gigabytes of stuff and if you're using Arch Linux you probably know what to do anyway <laughs> how to install and uh, what packages you want or don't want um, but there's a few things I probably left out and you know that I might upload a subsequent release I'm sure I will <laughs> and uh, if you're watching this um, give me some feedback okay like it, what doesn't work what you don't like what you would like to see uh, package wise uh, like I said I'm trying to keep it uh, down as much as I can because I believe you can install that 
whatever you wish so I don't want to push software that you don't want onto you okay and uh, I think that should cover pretty much everything I uh, tried to change in this release and why I changed things okay so that should do it for this one and as always thank you so much for watching and uh, to all those trying this out again thank you and uh, we'll talk to you soon and take care everybody and bye for now